So we did we did watch um little Yachty uh you know and his little uh his little group. They weren't too reliable. They betrayed him a little bit, and it looks like they really betrayed him now. And he's been overreacting. Uh, he's <laughs> he's little Yachty's fucking up everything he's he's been building. So we have how to overreact and destroy everything you've built. This is a video by FLWRS. We're going to check this out. This is about Little Yachty, I'm pretty sure. And the, the whole uh, caribou incident that's going on. I've been like telling that. Mitch you was a bogus. I've been saying that sh Stop playing with me. You wasn't, you're not even a factor in this, bro. You was really a bitch that he just used to use to sleep at your mother house. Huh? so crazy yeah. to me, bro, because I, 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 I've given you a career. And time to time, you just disrespect me. I wrote every fucking verse you've done. I addressed you. I dressed all five of y'all, bro. I dressed five every time we stepped out the house. I I, I got I daily I deleted Instagram and Twitter off my phone, bro. I ain't even on it. I I've been asleep for 17 hours, bro. I went to sleep at 2 a.m. I woke up at 7 p.m. Sick, throwing up. I'm throwing up right now. I swear to God, throwing up right now, bro. Fucked up, and you on here got me fucked up, bro. I ain't gonna lie. That ain't about to cry, bro. This whole thing your fault. <laughs> Welcome back. Damn. Everybody. Today we're going to talk about yeah, doing like that, the, bro. Boat, the man that brought the walk to Poland. This man did not have a good start to his weekend. And it all started with this. Okay, okay come on. on. So let's go back to 2015. We was at my mama's Where house, right? I'm at my mama's house. Now, Mitch is like two or three years older than me. All right. Now, Mitch came to me and for many years. Okay, so up until about maybe a year and a half ago, two years ago, you spends a lot of time trying to find your steps. Right. Right, but so that's to sit that's my make, point. No, 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 no. Imagine <laughs> if you didn't have a friend who's already extremely successful to help you get on your feet. A lot of people don't have that. So what I'm saying is, how? what do you say? Because you- Oh, hold on, bro. I remember just before he was like, just, like disconnected from you know, all of us broke niggas, you know what I mean? Like, he was disconnected, he was too rich to understand, you know, normal nigga problems and stuff. What happened to that, Yachty? Like, now now he has understanding? Uh, I'm a little confused. And I, I don't know, this interview may have taken place, like, uh, I, would, I would hope after that other one, but I'm not sure. Uh, there's no uh, no stamp for the date there, so I, I'm not really sure, but it seems like he's reneging what he said before. You didn't want to get a job. I never even suggested you get a job because I knew you wouldn't get a job. So in that clip, well, we see Lil Yachty speaking with Key Glock, another rapper, and his, Yachty's friend Mitch, that runs this podcast with him. Moments before, they were speaking on the topic of, let's say, getting it out the mud, doing whatever to survive, even though that's not really what they were talking about. But either way, doing things to get ahead. Mitch, in so many words, says, I wouldn't tell someone like to just do I anything. Really I would tell them not to go down the same path that I did. And what does Yachty say to it sounded like, who am I telling not to go do what you got to do? No, no, no. We need to tell them, no, don't go do that. <laughs> There's other things you can do, bro. This is why I don't like people who are contrarian for no reason. Because what did you need to say this for? Yachty says, well, you can't say it's the wrong thing to do because what if that's their only option? Keep in mind, we're talking about robbing other people who are working for their personal gain. But look, that's not even the part that people are upset about. People are upset at Lil Yachty for trying to sun his friend in front of their guest. So then this podcast gets posted to their YouTube. Yachty has a good night's sleep. And unfortunately, he wakes up to Twitter cooking the absolute shit out of him for being a bad friend. I've People are online day, talking bro. about, I wouldn't do anything with Yachty. He's going to tell everybody. This is why he's on his third batch of friends. All kinds bro, of stuff. Someone so literally now, said they wouldn't give that nigga a chicken, bro. That's so fucked up, bro. Online talking about, I wouldn't do anything with Yachty. He yeah, don't let that nigga little Yachty give you him a chicken. That nigga don't tell everybody. He's going to tell Damn. everybody. Let's see, Dad. Little Yachty made all them niggas put on the same outfit like the Wiggles. Hey, he really did do that shit, though, bro. They really did have the fucking same outfit, the Tree Boys. Like, he, he basically trying to make the, the like, the Negro Backstreet Boys, bro. Like, come on, This is bro. why he's on his third batch of friends. Mitch, Little Yachty is not your homie. There's a time and place to have these conversations not a podcast for millions of people to dissect and observe. This is lame as probably fuck. Don't do favors for people and then hold it over their head. That's foul as fuck. Oh, maybe as shit and fuck. Okay. 
happens, all kinds of stuff. So now he goes on full God, defense mode. He decides to call I Mitch did. and ask him to clear things up. And lo and behold, the man that you pretty much called lazy earlier is being lazy about this and brushes it off as the internet being the internet, which it is. To, I say, Mitch, how the f you didn't go on the internet and tell these folks that we playing, bro? That's what got goddamn low, six million views on it. Why the fuck you ain't going there telling folks we playing? Man, it's Twitter, bro. You know how that is, bro. You know how Twitter is, bro. You know how Twitter is, bro. All right, fuck that. Day, I, nigga. I, I want to believe fuck it. You. Fuck. This all could have blown over in a month or two, but Yadi could bro. not hold it in anymore. He decides, let's just go ahead and air everything out. So now it's no more podcast. Mitch did go on Twitter afterwards and try to Hansel. save it. Mitch says, please don't let that clip misguide you. It doesn't represent me and Yadi's friendship at all. We joke around pretty hard sometimes, too much for real sometimes, but IRL, it's nothing but respect and love. I can't even get on here and act like it's not. Another tweet read, I ain't nobody little bro, never been. Check my history, I had stats before. Before I met bro and got even more now all I ever wanted to do was just focus on music and being involved in the culture in a positive way I hope none of this hinders that it's very wishful thinking and I hope I hope it doesn't either but I don't <laughs> very wishful thinking. and that is not all Yachty had something else to address caribou ain't no nigga that I trust till I got the dust walk her that sack under my arm cause stacking up a mud to fill some people in, Yachty has his own label slash music group called Concrete, and one of the former members was Caribou, a rapper that used to be Yachty's assistant that he then signed because she had some innate talent, I guess. I'm not sure. She got most of her clout from yeah, that on the Radar Freestyle that they did as a collective. Keep that in mind. A month or two back, there was a concert featuring Yachty and other Concrete members and fans yeah, wait, wondering where Caribou was at. Later on, he had confirmed that Concrete did, in fact, part ways with Caribou. <sighs> I don't want to say this. I'm going to say this shit one time, right? We uh, half split ways with care as far as this concrete shit. I was like, hurry up, my food almost done. Uh, I don't have nothing. I have nothing to say, nothing bad to say, nothing negative to say uh, about care. I wish her the best in her career. And since that point, we've only seen a couple of cryptic tweets from Kara, but the rumors were she left the group because of bully. And like I said before, now it's time to clear that up. How you tell my security guy, oh, you home? Oh, you work for me. Oh, uh, we are, uh, we, you ain't got no, you're poor. And, uh, we above you and. Nigga made what? Alvin think he died. <laughs> that boy think he yay. How you, you talk to people like they nothing. You talk to people like they're, like they small, like they, like they beneath you. Tell people how. But so does Tell he, people. bro. Like, he was a dude talked about he had all this, like, uh, oh, everybody got resources and shit like that. And they didn't know they do not, bro. Like, just because you got humbled on the one podcast and now this nigga think he, like, he one of us. Like, bro, you still that nigga, like, who thought, like, I don't know, everybody was beneath you, bro. Like, come on, bro. Like, it's, it's cool to, like, shake back or whatever, but come on. Like, don't, don't flip, like, just because you learned something. Like, he, he flips so, like... So quickly, too. But that's all good. I know they're going through some shit right now, bro. This shit kind of funny, though, unfortunately. But he did How do it to himself. You verbally abuse people. How you told me you're going to spit on me when you see me. Tell people how you talk to people, bro. How you, how, how you, how you, your brain is clinically imbalanced, bro. Damn, how you crazy. disrespect people. How you, how you go around treating people in your everyday life. I've been letting you do this whole thing where you act like you like, a princess and you sweet and you know like oh you just such a good girl bro stop the front bro we didn't internally we have withheld your actions since the beginning of me giving you this career what are we talking about bro what the f what, yo, what the f are we even talking about bro you don't even do nothing I always crash down on the you, lies bro the so they're just gonna crash out at yo bro it's so crazy to me, bro, because I, 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 I've given you a career, and time and time you just disrespect me. I wrote every f verse you've done. I addressed you. I dressed all five of y'all niggas, bro. I dressed five niggas every time we stepped out the house. That's just the I put an outfit mean. on everybody. I put eight carat earrings in everybody ear. I put three chains on all y'all neck. We bought a Cartier watch. I gave you that chrome Rolex. 
Like, what do you say fuck me for? That is a lot oh, to process. He says, I built you. And as a matter of fact, I built all of you. Here's that reference track, by the way. They just sent in the back chilling. I don't know that I trust to knock off the dust. Why would I sack under my arm for stacking up a must? I crushed the park into the test to get up the fuss. You're like a boss, I'm not like them, they're doing such and such. I was selling lemonade while y'all were double dutch. I used to scam, I used to trap, I never cuddled much. Out to the end, I stretched my plans, I never settled much. I slipped on pimping once. You asked for how I bought it. really is Yachty's bars, bro. Now I have no idea what she's gonna say to this. I it mean, truly is he's got bars. pretty concrete. That was 100% him, bro. Like in the low tone and everything. Like, he wasn't playing around, bro. That was his bars, like. Straight up. I wonder if that was like playing in her ear too or whatever, but I don't know. She probably just reading it or some shit. I don't know, but it's interesting. But that's that's his bars. But I mean, Ghost writing isn't like is that even surprising at this point? As a as a newbie, I feel like it's kind of like um, it's not a whack. I'm not gonna cap. Like I I wouldn't be entertained by that. Like I, I ain't gonna lie. Like it's, it's it sound good. Like you know they got the a uh, good good voice. You know what I mean? For the for the part for the words, but I don't know. Like, it's, it's like, with the whole, um, Ghost Rider thing, it's really debatable. Like, I feel like at the top, you shouldn't be doing it, but you can afford it. You, you, if you feel me, like, I feel like it doesn't matter at that point. But as a newbie, I don't know, I feel like you should jump in. Like, you know what I mean? Why not? Like, j jump in. I did the, the feet wet, technically. You know what I'm saying? Like, you should jump in and do your part. And, like, dude, just a little bit. Like, I'm not saying you have to be there for, like, you know, ten toes, ten years type shit. But just, like, I don't know. Like, make some songs on your own first. And then, like, jump into AI and all this other shit. You know what I mean? Like, do, do, some, do some of that shit first. Like, you know, hop on a beat, if anything. You don't even have to make one. Just fucking hop on the shit. There's no need to fucking uh, do anything crazy. Evidence. Like, nothing extra like that. I regret nothing, nigga. Just so happened she did respond while I was making this video. She tweeted at Yachty basically I'm saying that. So what if my you bad. wrote the freestyle? It's only my third biggest song. Horrible argument. But hey, if he comes out with reference tracks, someone backs him up. If that man finds a napkin with some lyrics, you're done. It's over. Back to the pro. Crazy. You claim I was stealing money from you? Bro, stealing money from you how, nigga? Stealing money from you how, bro? You ain't made no money, bro. See, this is the problem with you new artists. Y'all fucking, y'all get popping online and then you become more popular than your actual music, right? You $900,000 in a hole and I got every fucking receipt, nigga. $900,000 concrete in a hole. I got every fucking receipt, nigga, and I'm going to post it. I dare you try me. Try me, I'm going to post it, nigga. And I post how much money your fucking streams are made. Zoom are killing me. You got, bro, stop. Don't, don't go on the internet and act like I'm bullying you, bro. I've been nothing but loving and caring and paid your bills and you gave you money and, and, and took you around the world. And nobody would even know who the fuck Caribou was if it wasn't for me. So as far as this Caribou being kind of a horrible person thing, there is a clip of somebody who apparently used to be Caribou's friend before. And if it's real, it is pretty heinous what she did and how she acts and how she treats people. So I wasn't really going to put my input in on the whole like Lil Yachty thing going on right now. But I see a lot of people on Twitter like going hard on him um and just saying they don't believe what he's saying about his former artist so i'm gonna show y'all some proof that that girl is a terrible uh -oh. person okay, the tea, so. all right what we got first bro we got caribou side over here caribou been a terrible person since before the rap damn that give y'all said to process everything bro it's quite a bit there what we're seeing is some big words Damn. Here go the messages right here. Um, to do a little pre pretext, I guess me and the girl Caribou was best friends before she started rapping. I was with her literally every single day, and you know we fell out as people do. And here she is, just being a terrible person, talking talking down on people, like Lil Yachty said, talking down on people, talking crazy. You know, being disrespectful. Also, a little clarity of the text messages. She's talking about my sister that passed away and my sister's mother that passed away since me and my sister shared the same dad, but different moms. And yeah, so my sister passed away and her mother passed away as well. Damn. So when she in the text messages saying, die like your sister, I'm smoking on your, your sister pack, all that. Yeah. And that was somebody that I was very, like, I consider Kira a very close friend of mine. I shared very 
intimate details with her about how I felt about all those things happening in my life. And she turned around and used them against me, threw it in my face, and, you know, just being a bully. I do think it's safe to say damn. it's up and it's stuck at this point. No more safe up place podcast. Stuck. No more concrete, damn near. Mitch's ex-girlfriend came to his defense and said she had dirt on Yachty. Like, I'm so, like, and Mitch, I know you're finna be mad as hell. I know you're finna be mad as hell because you hate when I come to the internet, but I, I can't. Like, this nigga took it to the internet. This nigga boat took it to the internet. So let's take it to the fucking internet because I'm somebody that's been there since 2019. When you put your fucking career to the side... To be this nigga's everything, manager, role manager, creative director, all that shit. Who was sending them meetings? Every time I called my ex-boyfriend, he was in a meeting for your stupid ass. And you go sit up here and say, oh, like, all I ever did was help you. Nigga, you hired the nigga. That's his job. The fuck are you talking about? Like, you really have some nerve. And, and I, bro, I've stayed quiet for years i i never i never said shit to this nigga but high and by when i came over i've been saying that shit because you are you're a bogus ass nigga and now it's probably getting i want i Damn. want one i want one of y'all concrete niggas to say i'm because i will really get into y'all real tea because you know what i've been around for years and i've been quiet and i've just been observing and i've just been collecting shit on y'all niggas he snapped back at her in a now deleted tweet Damn, and another she thing going famous crazy. People, stop deleting tweets it does nothing in this age people were screen recording screenshotting it does nothing it's a much safer bet to just think about what you're going to say and do beforehand that way you won't regret it you dumb broad this nigga was telling you lies just to get away from you ho what is you talking about ho nigga talking about all the times you called him he was in meetings Mitch ain't never did no damn meetings for me nigga you talk about nigga nigga wouldn't me, me bro me bro stop, nigga, stop, nigga, stop nigga, playing nigga, with nigga. me ho you wasn't you're not even a factor in this bro you was really a he just used to use to sleep at your mother house ho Damn. i ain't never stole a dollar from Mitch, nigga Mitch been living with me since the motherfucking 10 years ago nigga when i ain't even have a, a cent nigga when i lived in my mama house he lived with me nigga i ain't never stole a dollar from that nigga if anything i helped him nigga out i da i dare you miss you better get this hoe bro you better hit get you better get this whole bro if I really like really tell it how it is, bro. Nigga ain't never did nothing for me. F you talking about hoe? Nigga put this shit to the side for me. Hoe, what is you talking about? You got some dirt on me, nigga. Put it on the motherfucking light. So here's my final take. Yachty, before you were alive, you had the opportunity to take this L and laugh about it with Mitch and move on. But instead, you took everything that the internet was saying to heart and lashed Ran out at your it. friend. And you say you were just playing. And I watched I watched the actual podcast. So I got all the context and everything. It does seem like they were, they were joking around. You just went a little bit too far at a certain point. But that's another thing. You could have just told people to go watch the whole podcast to get more context because yeah. you know it's twitter they have to have a villain of the day they're gonna do stuff like this which is why it's best to ignore but instead of doing that you went live and then you started exhibiting the exact same traits that they were accusing you of having on the treat. podcast so it seems like it was a case of being right on accident that's just my two cents but you gotta admit it looks at the very least it's distasteful to describe yourself as incredibly successful and then act like you're some deity that helped your lowly friends uh who can't get mm. right everyone gets help from somebody no the one bars. is self-made that is a myth you're going through a lot right now okay i hope you feel better soon i hope you figure it all out but this is kind of your fault man you knew who these people were mitch was your friend before the podcast you knew about his demeanor it never seemed like you were trying to hand the podcast off to him you're usually the one running the show if you wanted him to take over it like you didn't want to do it like you said because you're a rapper and you don't want to talk to people all day then you should have been setting Mitch up to start doing the pod on his own. For but real? I don't see any that evidence. Makes more sense. Kara was your assistant before. How did you not know about how she was when she worked for you, like directly for you? Also, why did you cover up her actions before? And I also think another thing has to be said. Some people, including myself, feel like if you are keeping tabs on the favors that you do for people like that, you never. It just seems kind of fake. It seems like you did those yeah, things no reason so that tabs. you could throw them back in their faces. Mm -hmm. That because I mean. Let's be clear, Mitch didn't do anything to you. You brought that up out of nowhere. And then he still didn't really do anything to you. You just wanted him to defend you, but there was nothing to defend from. Just You should have just let it die out. So you burned Bars. your bridge with Mitch. Care, that was a while ago. But why did you Why did you say you dressed five niggas? Why are you throwing everyone else in concrete into that? This is a bit of a messy one. We do this every once in a while just to keep things a little entertaining, I guess. I don't know. No, you definitely did throw like uh, all the, the whole group under the bus just because... Uh old girl just because caribou and i think that is a little, little crazy like it, it is a little a little bit overreactive you know 
for for him. It's it's a, it's out of character. He's usually cool, calm, and collected, but he, you know he broke character. It just he probably just falling apart a little bit. It sucks. Happens to the best of us, bro. Oh. I need school tips. I appreciate the follow, bro. I ain't got no school tips for you though, <laughs> unfortunately.